slept out at Green Square Park for the sixth annual Sleep Out for the Homeless event. Um, we all got together and we designed um, homes out of car cardboard boxes and a lot of people came out and supported the event so it was, was really good. And it was quite the event. Um, it was great to see everybody out in the community um, really shedding light on this issue that needs more attention. And so we here at the United Way made a, a great little castle. The first thing we had to do uh, when we got to Green Square Park was to build a shelter. And it took about two hours to get this structure built uh, with duct tape and cardboard. Uh, you know, and we were all kind of putting our efforts into it. It had to be big enough for four people. So uh, we were, you know, pretty proud by the time we got done with that. Uh, but then as the night progressed, uh, it fell apart. So, uh, and this was about maybe eight o'clock, so it was already dark. Uh, but there was a sense of kind of being anxious of whether or not we were gonna get this put back together in a, in a way that would keep us warm for that night. It breaks my heart to even think that someone's experiencing that. So it's a good thing that we were there, like raising awareness, let it be known, yes, it's still here, how can you help? Let's try and fight against this, let's try to prevent it or prevent another person from not being able to stay in their home. One of the things we had folks do throughout the night was to answer a question. And that was, you know, what does it mean not to be homeless? And, you know, as folks were filling out what it means to them, there was one uh, gentleman that uh, completed the form that, when I read it, it you know, it, I didn't even think about this, but boredom was a really big component of, you know, uh, what he had uh, learned from a homeless per talking with a homeless person himself was just not having things to do uh, during the day or the night. What stuck out with me was um, when the homeless person mentioned to me that he spoke to a, a businessman and um, he was telling him about homelessness and you know what's going on and the guy said to him homelessness in Cedar Rapids really? I think that this issue is kind of one of those things that people, you know, don't really, it's kind of one of the issues that gets swept under the rug sometimes, you know, people know that um, their people aren't as fortunate to, to have homes and warmth and blankets and um, families and security, so I think this really helped at least the Cedar Rapids community shed some light on the issue that is a nation and worldwide problem. I encourage anyone who is, is um, wanting to understand um, you know what that that's all about to participate maybe next year with their family or just to cultivate that sense of gratitude you know for everything that they have you know their home their family uh, it really does um, open your heart to to those issues and uh, you know that's what United Way is all about is is trying to help people get back on their feet so that they don't have to, you know, stay in that homeless uh, situation for long.